Hey, welcome to Performance Reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I'm going to be walking you around VDTA 2021. Now, before I get started, I want to talk about the extraordinary circumstances of which this show happened, and it did happen. The show was postponed several times and almost canceled, uh, but at the last minute, the VDTA was sold to another company and they pulled through. And about a month or two after the pandemic ended in most states here in the United States, we now have a trade show, just like nothing ever happened. So truly extraordinary. I really appreciate everybody who showed up to this event. Please make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest videos. All right, welcome to VDTA 2021. Looks like we have Hoover over here. Hoover is showing off their cordless stuff, as they're well known for that. And, oh, it looks like we have Filter Queen over here already. All right. We have uh, some irons over here. Oh, Bernina made it out this year. That's cool. Let's see what we have on this table. Uh, Dyson attachments. So this would be... Esco, who is a wholesale parts supplier, giving pens, catalogs, stuff like that. And TTI and Esco teamed up for this show when I had emailed them, so that's cool. Um, let's see what we got here. We have Green Tech Environmental, which seems to be like heater. Yeah, those are heaters on the table. I can feel the heat. And it's about 105 degrees here in Vegas, so. That is not really welcome right now. Let's see here. It is extremely small this year. Let's go this way. Scissors, that's that's fine. We got Juki sewing machines. And oh we have Bissell Big Green. And that's what we got for Bissell Big Green. We got they <laughs> still make the little Hercules, apparently. This guy is like the lift-away part of a full-size unit. Strange they have that. Got a mop bucket. They have the perfect big green um, Mighty Might thing. We have the big green machine. We have a newer version of the Orbiter that I've never seen before. So that that's cool. Um, we got the... This Bissell machine's cool. I've been meaning to get one of these to do a review. It takes Auric Expendables. I'll give you my We have a Sanitaire. I'm surprised they even have a dump out. I don't know where you could sell that out legally. Um, I did a video on that last year. Check that out. And then we just have some quick brooms and stuff right there. We have some knickknacks over here. And we have uh, Swiss fans. Okay, this is something that's interesting. We got... Oh, and that might have a HEPA filter in it if you look in there. All right, that's cool. We have Swiss fans. Uh, Bonico, I'll have to ask them how you pronounce that. I'm not even going to guess. All right. And then the rest of this, kind of just to show you, is empty. And even though COVID is technically like over in this state and in my home state, this is what we have. A lot of people didn't want to sign up and a lot of the European vendors couldn't make it this year because of restrictions in those companies. Now this is kind of cool. This, They're going to be doing a podcast here which is kind of cool and they have this set up with like a camera and everything with a ring light and if you've never seen a ring light look the lighting is just fucking perfect here. Anyways, so that's that's really cool. I was talking to the guy last night at the cocktail reception who's in charge of this. Really cool. Um, got some long arm quilting machines over here. Let's see what we got here. We have, oh, we have a small bank vacuum. Um, this is really, really cool. I have never seen this version up close. Um, the color is really, really good. I might have to uh, go back and post edit and color correct this because this is just not capturing the color. The color is excellent. Uh, and then you can see they have some packaging. 
Uh, yeah, and then the Bank Vacuum Company. And they're, they're known for making like custom rebrands of stuff from Tacconi slash Visselwork. You see there's a Visselwork nozzle on there. Very, very cool stuff. Um, I'll, I'll have to talk to them individually later. Some more empty tables around there. Uh, a company called Like So, and just a laptop. Uh, so yeah, I'll give you an idea how big or how small the ballroom is. Uh, I'm really, uh, was hoping for a little bit more this year, but you know, with us just getting out of COVID, I'm going to understand exactly where they're coming from, why we have less vendors. We're gonna walk around the outside here and take a look. Um, oh, well, since there aren't so many vacuum stuff, I will say RK Distributing makes great thread. If you're looking for high end embroidery thread, that's a great one to get. Let's see. Got a Curtis vacuum being moved around. And let's see here. They've got a. Looks like they're trying to get into the industrial stuff. Um, so that's where we're leveraging that one. Yeah, it's a very nice presentation from ESCO. I appreciate the effort. Like I said, the, this sort of show, when shows are a bust like that and people don't show up, this is a, a negative net loss for every company here. So everybody here really is supporting the industry. So I really appreciate that. Of course, me included uh, with that net loss. Um, it's strange to see FOF. FOF has come out of the dark uh, now that they're joined with Singer. So it's kind of cool to see FOF doing stuff again. We have a lot of sewing stuff. We have, uh, I'm not familiar with this commercial brand of sewing machine, but that's cool. Um, <laughs> we got Necky. Yeah, definitely. And then we have some 3D printed, good. Uh, we got some 3D printed thread stands here. Interesting. And again, you can see that there's just like nothing here this year. And we have some other stuff. Oh, we have high zeros here. Uh, I wasn't sure if they would show up. And you see they have a nice test floor set up. They have their own chemical. And they have one of the machines open, drying, which is kind of cool. Really cool to see. Good, how are you? And uh, yeah, that might be it for vacuum and sewing uh, stuff in general, but since my audience is vacuums, uh, it's kind of a bust. Um, well, as always, please like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you think of the VDTA show this year. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you again next year um, when there's more stuff. I am gonna try and do a few videos while I'm here as well, so stay tuned for those. Make sure you turn on the notifications. Have yourself a wonderful day.